It is the sound of Geelong on the Surf Coast, K-Rock 955 here for vfalearning.vic.edu.au and I would say fresh from stage but it is stinking hot there at the Melbourne Showgrounds performing on stage two at three o'clock this afternoon. Gerard Way, welcome back to K-Rock. Thank you so much for having me. Now, because this is your second time on K-Rock, we're here to let you know that the next time you're on, you're inducted into the Hall of Fame. It only takes three. Do I get more jelly beans if I'm inducted in the Hall of Fame? You can have as many jelly beans as you want. Good. Actually, you were just telling me about the trick jelly beans that your daughter has. Yeah, Jelly Belly makes this game called Bean Boozled. And basically, they have all these jelly beans, and you don't know, like... They're duplicates, so you don't know if you're going to get, like, Stinky Sock or, like, Tutti Frutti. And my daughter became obsessed with this game, and yeah. but she won't play it unless the only ones she'll eat are cut green grass and one other she can handle, uh, toothpaste. But all the others she makes me eat. How does your other senses go? Because my nose would be going off. No, like- it's horrible. It's like, it, and it, it stays with you, too, like... I ate rotten egg and it was like, I could not taste it for like a day. Are you so. someone who has a sweet tooth? Do you? No, nah, not really. I don't consider myself, like I'm not really into cakes or sweets or anything. But she is, she's a child, so. <laughs> Once again, impressive suit. I love the Thank tie you. collection you have. But Thank in you. across the two days, across the weekend, you have had incredibly hot weather to put it politely yeah. it was a stinker in Adelaide it was muggy here how do you go with the suit? I've had a lot of training like yeah. back back in the early days of my camp romance I would it didn't matter how hot it was I always wore a leather jacket on stage and then it was a bulletproof vest and then it was a thick wool parade jacket and then so it's just been constant and then suits here and there like so I've never really worn anything comfortable on stage so <laughs> How many ties do you have in the collection? Have you done a count? Um, I haven't really counted, but I've gotten new kind of ties for this project. I have a lot of ties I used to wear, but like this is an Hermes tie that I just picked up, and it's pretty fancy, and I like this one a lot. It matches my belt, so it does too. Yeah, You've it's color coordinated pink, really you know. well. How about the socks? The socks aren't coordinated because you don't see them because yeah. I wear ankle boots. So if I ever switch to, sh- to shoes, I'll start wearing coordinated socks. But all the socks are special, too. So ever since I got a proper suit made for me, so now it's like, oh, now I have to get good socks and ties. So oh, You know you've made it when you have suits made I for made you. I made it. <laughs> yeah, I made it. How was it out there on set today? I had a blast today. Yeah. It was super, super fun. I went, I went full Iggy, is what I call it. <laughs> At the end, I dumped water on myself and crawled around the stage. My bass player actually missed a note because he thought I had died. (laughs) He thought I passed out from heat exhaustion. So he stopped playing for a second. Well, that's sweet. That's sincere out of concern. The hormones are very sweet guys. (laughs) So I went full Iggy on it. Uh, Downtime. Do you get any while you're in Australia? What, you know, what's on the right or what, what do you want to get I like to? Any, you know, when we get downtime, I like to walk around. It doesn't have to be far from the hotel. I just like to get a vibe of a city, have a coffee, sit outside, maybe run into somebody, meet people. Like, I'm pretty chill. Or, or I write comic books. So, because that's my other thing. That's what I was going to ask you about. Yeah. I don't know if I'm correct in saying it's a side project or a side hobby, but that another creative side for you. Right. It's such an interesting process, comic yeah. writing. It's super fun. Uh, yeah, as much as I want it to be a full-time job, it still is kind of a side thing. But um, I'm on my fourth graphic novel right now uh, that's going to start being drawn in April. And then we're planning two back-to-back. So all in all, in the next couple of years, you're going to be seeing a lot of comics from Can you me. give us a little insight to what we're going to expect from it? Well, the, the third Umbrella Academy series deals with this super prison that's stuck in a pocket dimension uh, that is basically an old hotel. And it deals with the inhabitants of this old hotel. And you see a lot of that side of things. So where's the inspiration for it? Do you watch a lot of movies? Do you read a lot? I tend to not. Because, like, is this your own creative imagination? I mean, it it does all come from somewhere. Like, I, I, you know, I grew up reading Grant Morrison comics, so he's a big influence. So, a lot of stuff I read from my youth inspires me now. I tend not to watch things that are new. Like, I don't watch Doctor Who, Mm -hmm. not because I don't think it's a great show, but 
I get so distracted watching a show like that that I get too many ideas and then I'll I don't want to copy it so I just don't watch it like so so you have uh, wrapped up your set on stage too. Yeah. You've got a couple of hours. You're gonna hang around, check out some of the sets. You're gonna hang back, have a couple of beverages. I think what I'm gonna do is finish the press and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel because I got a lot of press tomorrow mm. and we're playing with the pumpkins. So Which I gotta mentally prepare for that. We have one lucky listener and three of her mates who won the opportunity on Friday to head out and see the Smashing Pumpkins and you tomorrow ah, night at cool. Festival Hall. So they're stoked to be checking you out. We are so honored that once again you've stopped by K Rock and yeah, the next time you stop by, lifetime supply of jelly. Thank you so much. <laughs> I right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.